oh no they're about to lose their truck in the water wait don't try anymore do you have a strap oh no not good check out that catfish Oh, it got off. No. Dude, that thing was a beast. Okay, when you don't set your hooks with like one, what are you doing with one hand? I'm good. Then why are you always talking shit? Don't be. Worry about yourself up there. Alright, alright, alright. Dude, that was a big fish. I know, I see it. Fuck. Throw back out there. Get the hand again. If it was a big stripper and their mouths are real bony. I think that might have been a rock. Man. Throw out there, see. Either a rock or a big fish. That first one was definitely a fish. I felt the tug, but that second one. Yeah, the second one may have been a rock. So Mike has this dual mount on his front of the boat and uh, this is kind of the setup I wanted on the John boat. I got the Garmin 9 inch panoptic screen here. I got two 9 inch screens so I was thinking about doing a dual mount. I'm not sure if I'm going to do two though. Um, I'm still thinking about it. What do you guys think? Should I do two mounts? One with the panoptics, the live scope. The other one will be like down imaging and side scan. Or should I just go with the panoptics? I don't know. I saw a flip down mount that stands up high, probably like this high, so I can mount the panoptic screen there and I can flip down and I could do the other one up here normally, but I don't know, we'll see, it's a thought process. Going deep. You might as well, I mean, I'm going to adventure. If there ain't fish here, there ain't fish nowhere. The, the word is dirty though. This is dope, huh? <laughs> yeah. Pretty cool. Sandbar. Across that, she just crosses like nothing. Did she go that way? I don't know. All right, but there's a sandboy right there, big one. I mean, we're on it, but you know, how'd you not see the hazard buoys, man? You were filming everything. I was looking at the mountains. <laughs> Baby. So I'm here in Laverne, California. I went to LA this morning with the Hollywood. Went and checked all that out. Saw the Hall of Fame, the stars on the ground and all that stuff. I went and saw the Hollywood sign and there was way too much smog. I couldn't even see it. Yeah, it was it was awesome. <laughs> I went into LA and came right back out. It wasn't for me, man. It was cool, but too much trash on the ground, homeless people, dirty. I mean, it wasn't nothing great, honestly. Let's be honest, nothing great. But like I said, I'm in Laverne, California now, about to go fishing with a subscriber. Gonna go meet him, go do some fishing, and hopefully be able to check off California from all the states I caught a fish. So uh, 
Let's head to his house, go meet him, and then head to the lake and go do some fishing. Boom. Boom. All right, this is Dave's studio. Dave is in two bands. Check out his studio, pretty sweet. Got some guitars over here, pianos, all decked out for the music. All right, guys, so I'm out here in California for the first time ever fishing in California. Out here with Dave. Dave is the guy who sent me some baits a while back, and now, I'm out here in California fishing with him for two days. We need to catch my very first California fish, so let's see what we can do. Throwing on a Texas rig worm. Dave said the drop shot works really good out here as well. So if this Texas rig worm doesn't work, we'll go to a drop shot. But let's see what we can do. This lake is freaking awesome, man. Sorry, bird. First cast. Hey, we got one. You got one? We got one. Yes, bro. Yeah. A little guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They got swallowed huh? that thing. No, that's an earthworm. Oh, you got one on the earthworm. High five, dude. Little guy. <laughs> I'll take it. Better than nothing. Dude, dude, you got a California bass. Ding. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. First California fish. <laughs> All right, dude. Thanks for playing. There it goes. All right, guys. I am leaving California. And uh, look what I just happened to drive by. Hey, Bass Pro Shops, baby. So we're going to come in here and probably spend a lot of money. Today... I want to buy the craziest lures that Bass Pro Shop has. So, like the birds, bats, rats, all the super big swim baits. We're gonna be buying all the cool stuff. So, uh, that is the plan, man. This Bass Pro Shop looks pretty cool too. I love surprise Bass Pro Shops. Like, normally I look them up, but when I'm driving down the highway and just see one, it's like a nice little surprise. Always have to stop. Okay, it looks like your basic Bass Pro Shops, the normal layout. Guys, I miss having a boat. We need a freaking boat and a full roller. So it is 6.17 and it goes at 7, so I need to be fast. Here's all the boats, which I'd love to have and look at, but we don't have time. We gotta go. There's no time to check. Kayaks. Dude, that one's sick. There's no time. <laughs> we got to go find the baits. We're in the ocean stuff. We don't really need to be in the ocean stuff. I never really fish in the ocean. <laughs> That's crazy. Cali locks up their stuff. That is all the expensive uh, jerk baits. So $24 for a jerk bait. That is a lot of money. Hair jigs. I do want some more hair jigs. After catching all those uh, striper on the hair jig. Like this. That's perfect. What size is that? Doesn't matter. We're getting it. That one rattles. That's freaking sweet. Dude, look at that jerk bait. That is cool, but uh, we're not going to get it because I will never use it. Sick and so big. All right, so we're going to actually get some of these. Should we get the white or the lime truce? We'll get the white. Big old swim sheds. That's pretty cool. It's like we're in the water. All right, my phone's about to die. We gotta hurry. All right, there's the bass. This is where we should be. Dude, little fatty right there. Dives one foot. Let's get it. That's not super crazy, but that is also an awesome color. Man, 12 to 15 feet. We're doing it. Okay, we need to find the crazy stuff before I just grab everything. I should have done this at the Havasu bait shop because they had so much cool stuff we just gotta find it i'm sure they have it you would think they would have all the cool stuff here we'll go with this one again not crazy i just want it it's almost trout season boys i did buy a whole bunch of trout stuff at the havasu walmart because they had a crazy trout selection all right i found some of the cooler stuff some of the bigger baits 
Let's see, is that a hard bait? That is a hard bait. Soft. That is sick. This is absolutely awesome. And what I was looking for. Line through trouts. We're getting that. Oh, also I got some small stuff, Ned rigs. Got some worms. This is what we're looking for, baby. Still not like super cool, but cool. Perch. We don't have any perch anywhere around. Oh, there's a snake. We have to get the snake. We have to. It's cool. Any other colors though? I don't know, but we're getting it. Sweet, we now have a snake. Scented, photo print, real 3D scan. Let's do it, let's get it. So we got the six inch one here. And then we also got the eight inch rainbow trout there. So, sweet. Five and a quarter inch, 15 bucks. There's a bigger one too. Is that bigger? That is bigger. We'll get this one, a little smaller. More bites. Well, we kind of found some cool stuff there. All right, so I just found these jacked up shads. $14, but they look pretty good. Hard plastic, bunch of segments on the body. Let's go for it. And I think that does it, man. I mean, to be honest, this Bass Pro Shop is kind of lame compared to the last tackle shop we were at because they had everything. So, I'm gonna find a tackle shop along the way home. I have 16 hours to get back home. Maybe Las Vegas will have some cool tackle shops. And uh, we'll go continue this video there. So let's go pay for this and get out of here and hit the road. All right, guys. So here is everything we got from Bass Pro Shops. Try to guess how much all of this costs right here. Leave it down below in the comments. Don't cheat. And I will reveal it at the end of this video. All right, 7.04. Right in the nick of time. Now we're off to Las Vegas, baby. Let's go. Starting route to Las Vegas. Proceed we have to the route. three then hours. Turn right onto Church Street. Alright guys, so we just made it to Vegas. I'm just gonna walk around and explore, check everything out that I can. Uh, I went to Hollywood and I was not excited for Hollywood at all. I did not care to be there. I went in, went in for like 30 minutes and came right back out. I left Hollywood. I came to Vegas and I am super excited. <laughs> like this is gonna be amazing. Let's go explore, one, two, let's go check out Vegas.
We dream about racism because racism is a joke. We truly believe there's only one race, and that's the human race. Give yourself an end. That's right, and if you don't clap, you're fucking racist. Clap your hands, nigga, I see you. Now everybody, take a good look at us. We're doing something positive, not negative, and that's not too common for where we come from. We're not into games. We don't sell drugs. <laughs> sorry, sorry, flashbacks. Nowadays, everyone, we're out here trying to promote real hip hop. Healthy, independent people helping other people. Give us a hand, ladies and gentlemen. We're doing something positive, not negative. So, one thing you have to think of when traveling in Vegas is parking. There isn't parking everywhere, but there is parking garages. And uh, I'm, I'm crazy, I'm parking here with a kayak. And luckily I found a eight foot parking garage, but I've searched a lot of the parking garages and a bunch of them are like six feet, six feet, eight inches, very short. And uh, the truck would not have fit in that parking garage. So uh, you gotta keep that in mind if you're carrying a kayak. Of course, not many people are carrying a kayak if you look. These are all small cars, but uh, if you drive a big truck, or carry a kayak on top of your truck. That is one thing you have to look out for. Another thing is at the entrance of the garage, it will say eight foot, four inches. And then you get in and then there's another one that says six foot, seven inches. So uh, parking here is kind of sketchy, but it is doable. Just don't bring your kayak. <laughs> All right, we just uh, explored Fremont Street. Pretty awesome. Now right, we're gonna get out of here and move on. It looks so sketchy. Every time I pass one of these things, looks like I'm about to hit a little scary, but uh, we're good. We made it out safe. Well guys, I'm leaving Vegas. I would have loved to go and see Penn and Teller. I've been watching Penn and Teller my entire life and I looked up their show and they're not doing a show tonight, tomorrow, or the next day. So uh, I don't want to wait another three days to see them. So unfortunately I didn't get to see Penn and Teller. Maybe next time I'm here. We're heading back to Texas, baby. I'm ready to be home. There's fires all up and down this road, this highway. That can't be controlled. Because the other one was way back there. That's freaking, it's probably this truck right here causing it. Ouch, not good for them. Dude, that fishing line's still there. <laughs> oh yeah. Probably a dead fish now. Probably your minnow still. Oh, feels heavy. Well, Devin put a minnow down here last week, and I feel, I feel, I feel a fish. I swear, yeah, I feel a tug. So this was what four days ago? A week ago? We forgot about it, but Devin just saw it and remembered, and I'm not sure. Let's see what we got. Catfish. <laughs> yeah, this one's bigger. So we, we were fishing and we saw this line and Devin randomly pulled it up and pulled up his tiny catfish. And then uh, we just remembered and there's another catfish on it. Catfish? Huh? Oh yeah, catfish. You want it? <laughs> you want it? You can take it. Yeah. There you go. We gotta see if we can find a, find a boat first. Oh, wow. That's cool. There's a fish. Yours isn't important. Take a mint with uh. Yours is on the uh. Dude, this thing feels big. This is walleye. No, no, you gilled him. Gilled him. Uh oh. It wasn't. Little walleye. Recently? Uh, Labor Day. They're about five of these plus the gas. So. The live bait difference. Yep. <laughs> Man, you're stacked up over here. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get all of them. Man. 
Yes. Number two. Little guy. Number two on the live bait. There's one. Oh, feels big. Oh, first walleye, baby. Nice one, too. Holy crap. Real nice walleye. Y'all want it? <laughs> I ain't keeping fish today. Man, that is a nice walleye. Haven't seen one this big in a while. All right, check out that walleye. Oh, baby. That is awesome. Skinny guy, though. But it's long. Want it? Nice. Take her. Yeah, buddy. Thanks, sir. Probably 18, 19. Think about 20. Think about 20. Man, I've not seen a walleye that big in like a year. Come on, walleye. Now I want to catch more walleye. That was awesome. There it is. Little guy. Oh. He's short, but he's freaking fat. Man. Thank you, buddy. He gone. Ooh, on the drop. Another nice one. Oh, that might be a walleye. It's the way it's fighting. Feels big. No, that's, I don't think it's that big. Oh, no, just a big sand bass. Decent, decent. I know it. <laughs> Dude, that's a nice little sand bass. I'm gonna put her in her box. All right. Okay. She's a bleeder. Oh, that's not good. That is not good. Oh no, they're about to lose their truck in the water. Not good. Do not kill that truck. Not good. Can y'all drive a stick shift? I don't know how to either. I know he doesn't know how. Oh, is that the problem? Yeah, you can't get it to go forward on the hill. That's not good. Hold on. Hey. Hold on. Hey. Don't try anymore. Wait. What? Wait. Don't try anymore. Do you have a strap? You have a strap? Huh? You have a tow strap? Yeah, that's bad. Do you know how to drive standard? I don't know how. Uh, you got a strap? No, I'll fucking jump in there and drive it. <laughs> that's not good. If he kills it, it's over. This is why you don't let your friends who can't drive a stick ship put you in. It can be bad. Oh no, not good. Start her back up quick. Okay, good deal. Good deal. Hey, you wanna back your boat off? You wanna back your boat off? 
He has to work on his battery, so. Yeah, buddy. Sounds like that truck has a few problems as well. The water's not as cold as you would It wasn't that cold? You 100% saved that truck from going in. I think it was a goner. Did you smell the clutch? Yeah, I was like, as soon as it died, I was like, fuck. Start it, start it, start it. And you did. I was like, thank God. <laughs> it, smelled, it seemed like it had more problems than just... The well, stick. Looked, that guy was uh, sitting in there. He's like, I feel like a dumbass. I don't know how to drive a stand. It's not his fault. Yeah, it's his friend's fault for making him do it. How big was that walleye? Decent? Yeah, he was short. Short. My line is swimming that way. There might be a fish on there. Maybe. Got distracted. Jesus, man, that truck was about to go in. If he kept trying, it was a goner. We had to stop it. Oh yeah, that's on. Yes. <laughs> Wally, dude, the walleye are back. Heck yeah, dude. Been patiently waiting for walleye. Freaking beautiful. All right, boys. Second walleye for the day. Heck yeah. See you, buddy. Ooh, nice calm release. I like it. Ah!